President Trump touts the progress that his administration has been making in fixing the broken VA system and working to take better care of our nation's veterans. He made those comments while speaking at the American Legion's National Convention in Reno, Nevada earlier today. He mentioned several bills that he's signed as part of his 10-point VA reform plan, including uh, the accountability bill and much, much more. Now, I want to bring in um, the, well, there she is. Let's bring her back. The Communications Director for the Concerned Veterans for America, Rebecca Kaufman. Uh, Rebecca, the President uh, gave that address at the National Convention for the American Legion today and then immediately got down to business signing yet another bill that will benefit veterans with disabilities. And despite all of these distractions that his White House is dealing with, helping the veterans seems to always rise to the top, does it not? I think that the Trump administration has definitely prioritized veterans' issues. Um, President Trump, even back on the campaign trail, really made veterans' issues a priority. Um, and veterans responded to that and supported him during the 2016 election as a result. And he is acting to fulfill those campaign promises. Um, he has done tremendous work to turn the problems at the VA around. He's made significant headway with several pieces of critical legislation. Um, today, he signed a bill that is intended to help disabled veterans who were struggling to get their benefits from the VA. Um, there was an appeals backlog that they were facing, and that bill was intended to help with that. But he's done far more than that to help veterans at the VA. Uh, he signed into law the VA Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act earlier this year. Uh, that's a bill that will allow Secretary Shulkin to get bad VA employees out of the department quickly, far more quickly than he was able to before the bill was signed. He also recently signed an extension of uh, the Veterans Choice Program, in addition, emergency funding for the Veterans Fo Choice Program because it was running out of money this year. Well, Rebecca, just last week, he all. Well, I was yeah. just going to say, you mentioned it just then. I wanted to touch in on that VA Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act because, sure. uh, again, you mentioned th there have been several pieces of legislation uh, since he came into office nearly eight months ago. And, and uh, honing in on that one, two months after he did sign that a Accountability Act for VA employees, how are, are veterans getting better care under Secretary Shulkin and under this new bill? A lot of these pieces of legislation are going to take a long time to implement. So the answer to that is that it's it's probably too soon to say. Secretary Shulkin does have new authority under the VA Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act of 2017. Um, and we're watching and monitoring to see how he's going to use that new authority to terminate bad VA employees. One case that we're watching closely is the DC VA scandal. Um, if, for those who aren't aware of that scandal, uh, Brian Hawkins, who was the director of the DC VA, he was found um, by the investor, in, inspector general um, to be putting veterans' lives in imminent danger. He was removed from his position, but then he was replaced by the Merit Systems Protection Board, which is an unaccountable government agency that basically heeds to the demands of unions and in, uh, insisted that he be reinstated at the VA. So we're watching to see what Secretary Shulkin will do next with that scandal. Will he use his new authority to remove Brian Hawkins? We hope so, and he's indicated that he will do so, um, but it remains to be seen. Okay, and if uh, and the president said it earlier today, he said if VA management doesn't get it done, they're out, referring obviously to that uh, Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act a bill. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, and you touched on this one as well, $2 billion was pumped into a Veterans Choice Program uh, that would allow vets to receive private medical care at the expense of the government. But um, there's still a battle to be held on Capitol Hill to expand medical care choices for veterans. Is that right? That's absolutely right, Patrick. The Veterans Choice Program was passed in response to the Phoenix VA scandal of 2014. And it was passed under President Obama, and it was intended to be a temporary solution to the problems that were uh, the country was facing, not just at Phoenix, but across the country, in terms of secret wait lists, mismanagement, um, a lack of transparency, all these, all the systemic VA problems that my group, Concerned Veterans for America, talks about on a daily basis. Um, this program was intended to be a temporary solution to that scandal. 
However, here we are three years later in 2017, and Congress is still kicking the can down the road. They haven't come up with a permanent solution for offering veterans health care choice. Um, and so earlier this year, the program was slated to run out of money. Uh, we thought, uh, and we still do think, that President Trump did the right thing by giving the program emergency funding. But the bottom line is that that program is imperfect. It's being implemented poorly. Um, and veterans deserve a program that truly lets them leave the VA when they can't right. access the care they need. Right. Well, uh, okay, Rebecca, well, we are short on time, but uh, I know your group is also helping to fight the gridlock that is now taking place on some of these judicial confirmations uh, you mentioned in the lower courts. And uh, I look forward to having you back to talk more on that. Um, Rebecca Kaufman with Concerned Veterans for America, thank you so much as always.